Heading back to markets, oil prices bouncing back. After very steep declines, crude though is now down 10% in the past month alone. And if the slide continues, our next guest says there is reason to worry. Chris Faulkner is the founder and the CEO of Breitling Energy and Gas, and he joins us now. Chris, you say 70 bucks could be a catastrophe. Why? Well, you know, as we know, we've talked about it many times on the show, Melissa. This is expensive oil to bring out of the ground, to find and develop oil in this country. Most, you know, shell plays right now, it's about 50 to $55. Some areas are cheaper, some are higher like the Bakken. $70 right now will give producers a grave concern because, keep in mind, uh, most of these guys are heavily levered up. they got a lot of debt they're holding. If the guys aren't hedged and they're in an expensive area, $70 oil is going to cause concern because in the Bakken, for example, because yeah. of crude by rail, lack of transportation, it's 10 to $12 a barrel on, on rail. So when you start taking those deductions, you know, this gets expensive real quick. It does, although I had this argument with someone last night, and they were saying that you would have to go there and sit there for a prolonged period of time in order for it to true. have an impact. That, I mean, true. you think that we're really going below 70 for a prolonged period well, of time, you, or are we just having a no. little respite here? Well, if you asked me that two days ago, I told you I don't know. I'm, I'm glad I got a sigh of relief today with the oil kind of finding a floor, you know, above or 80. When we, when we tipped below 80 there briefly just a few days ago, you know, we had concern we might test 75. I think if you look at some producers, now these smaller guys, can they lever, you know, can they weather a storm, yeah. you know, if oil was to go below 80 and stay? Some guys may not. It gives a bond opportunity for the bigger guys. But at 80, $85 oil, which I think we're going to have range bound going forward, I think we can all okay. uh, make money and the momentum will continue. You're saying 70. I've heard a lot of people say 70. City said that the number is closer to 50 where you start, start you know, seeing people I, I disagree off. with that. I think, yeah. well, I mean, from our side, we look at these numbers every day. $70, I think, will cause at least half of these drilling rigs to either, to either lay down or drilling will slow down for a period of time. And producers may make the decision to say, hey, I can leave the oil in the ground, let oil rebound and start producing again. So you're going to have some at least some decisions that are going yeah. to have to be made if oil was to hit 70 and stay. I don't think we're going there, which is okay. the good news. But if we get to November 27th and Saudi doesn't cut production and all these okay. things, these factors keep go. going forward. What could happen? Chris Faulkner, leaving your house in Dallas to come talk to us. We appreciate that, given the Ebola scare. Thanks for joining us today. <laughs> Thanks, Melissa. We have this update.